Songa is a shopkeeper in Africa. She owns a well and sells the water to her many neighbors every day in order to care for her children. But her neighbors don't have money to buy water. During crisis times, she cannot afford to pay for food, medicine, or school fees. Why do economic downturns and crises have such a devastating effect on local markets? Each one of Songa's neighbors has something important to offer that other members of the community want and need. They are babysitters, farmers, nurses, cooks, teachers, tailors, shopkeepers, carpenters, and so on. During a crisis, each of these neighbors still has goods and services to offer each other, yet they don't have the money to purchase from each other. There is a new solution called Community Inclusion Currencies. Sangha joins a network of farmers, teachers, and small businesses that are trying to create a stable marketplace by trading their goods and services amongst themselves. The network pools their resources, as well as donor assistance from cash and voucher assistance programs, into a community fund. This fund is leveraged to create and back digital community inclusion currency credit. Songa receives community inclusion currency credit as shares of the community fund. Now she can meet her basic needs by trading them with other community members using her simple phone. Community inclusion currencies are securely and transparently created on the blockchain backed by community goods and services as well as national currency to increase the amount of locally available credit. Songa can now use her community inclusion currencies to purchase nutritious food for her family from a local farmer. The farmer can now pay a bicycle operator to carry his wheat to the market. The bicycle operator can now pay for his daughter's nursery school fees. And the school teacher can get water from Sangha, finishing a full cycle of trade during a crisis or poor market conditions. With CICs flowing through the community, trade increases and the market stabilizes. Songa's basic needs are now taken care of even during a crisis. People like Songa, who have limited resources, can come together to trade with their community inclusion currencies even in times of crisis. And they can save their national currency and pull out their community funds for essential imports and building their local economies. That's how community inclusion currencies complements missing national currency. Humanitarian aid organizations, such as the Red Cross, can use economic data to better understand local economies and support vulnerable communities by adding community funds and creating more credit for communities in need. Community inclusion currencies give people simple but powerful tools for utilizing their resources to pull themselves out of crisis and poverty.